from the downtown L.A. courthouse where the man who killed rapper Nipsey Hussle has just been found guilty of murder. KCL 9's Jeff Nguyen is live outside or actually inside the courthouse with reaction for us. Jeff. So, Amy, Eric Holder Jr. was convicted on half a dozen counts. The most serious was first-degree murder. Let's take a listen to how that verdict was read in court this morning. We, the jury, in the above-entitled action, find the defendant, Eric Ronald Holder Jr., guilty of the crime of first-degree murder of Ermius Ashkadon in violation of... Eric Holder Jr. was convicted of one count of first-degree murder and five other felony counts this morning for the shooting death of Hip Nipsey Hussle more than three years ago. Nipsey, whose birth name was Aramis Ashkadon, was shot and killed in the parking lot of his store known as the Marathon. Prosecutors say that Holder was angered by a conversation he had with Nipsey and two other men in which he was accused of being a snitch and or a police informant. So prosecutors say that Holder came back back to the store later in the day with a gun. Prosecutors say there were multiple witnesses who saw him walk up and open fire on the rapper and injuring two other men. Videos and photos displayed during the trial showed Holder fleeing from the scene with a semi-automatic handgun. Earlier, we spoke to uh, Holder's attorney who acknowledged that his client shot and killed Nipsey but urged the jury to find him guilty of a lesser charge of voluntary manslaughter because he was, quote, acting in the heat of passion. And just a few minutes ago, we heard from Nipsey's friend, Herman Douglas, who was a witness to the shooting and also testified in court. He made a mistake. He, he, he took out a good person, you know. Uh, even in the courtroom, he showed no remorse, you know. Uh, he could have he didn't even look over there, even, you know. Uh, you know, some type of remorse, some type of anything, just no nothing. You're trying to sit there and look like you're innocent. You already pled guilty. And Eric Holder Jr. is scheduled to be back in court on September 15th for a sentencing. He could face up to life in prison. We're live in downtown Los Angeles, Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.